Hey, welcome to the video. So to give a little context as to why I wanted to make this video, I found this post by Big Enemy Triple Zero on the Helldivers 2 subreddit, where they went through and collected data on stratagem pick amounts from their companions in over 400 matches. And what really stood out to me was that I saw Orbital Precision Strike at the dead bottom, where they said they only saw being brought in by new players. And honestly, I still bring it in on Helldive difficulty. There's a lot of great reasons why, and I'm just gonna go over them here real quick. Starting off, I want to start with the utility that it has. So, as you may be aware, there's a couple of structures that you typically have to call in a hell bomb to destroy, like the Rogue Research Station, Shadow Gym Jammers, or the Detector Towers. In case you're not aware, you can actually call in an Orbital Precision Strike, and this alone with a direct impact will destroy all of these. No hell bomb needed. So, me personally speaking, when it comes to fighting bots, I typically use this over the Rail Cannon Strike and the Orbital Laser. And I've got a few reasons for that. Starting off with the Rail Cannon, I find that its cooldown is too long for what it can do. I do love that it has an immediate kill potential for Hulks, Chargers, you know, if you need an immediate get out of jail free card, it's fantastic for that. Though, the fact that you only get one single shot at one individual target, I, I feel like, for example, like with Vile Titans, it should always one-shot them. And while I don't think it should one-shot Striders, I think it does a good amount of damage on them. Moving on to the Orbital Laser, I feel that personally it's fantastic. I think it's amazing for what it does. I I do think that the three limit use is a bit eh for what it is, especially considering how long the cooldown is. And this may be a me thing, but I understand that it doesn't one-shot factory striders, though I feel that the fact that you only get three total uses per match for this, it should at least one-shot Bile Titans. Or at least it feels like it should be a bit more consistent. There are some games where I feel like it completely downs it entirely on its own, and other games where I feel like it just kind of tickles it and doesn't really do much. Though, for the sake of fairness, making these comparisons, looking at the Orbital Precision Strike, one of its biggest shortcomings versus the other two is that the likelihood of you missing with this is much higher. You can completely miss a throw, mistime the throw, have it bounce off a rock or even drop on your hand. At least if one of these situations happens to you, generally the rail cannon might be able to save you and at least find somewhat nearby target, and the laser will eventually find what you needed to find. Secondly, unlike the other two that have an either immediate come down time of the rail cannon or a one second call in time of the laser, the orbit precision has a three second call in time from when the actual stratagem lands on the ground. So looking at its kill potential, this thing can direct impact and kill Bile Titans in one hit. The way I typically recommend you do this is you can bait out the throw up animation and the moment you see them start to like lift up, just toss it right in front of you because it's going to end up finishing its animation right before the old Precision Strike lands, but as long as you bait them to walk slightly forward, you should generally get a direct impact on it. Looking at Factory Striders, I've done some testing with them, and while it won't kill them in one direct hit, it will drop them with two direct hit impacts. But speaking from experience, your other teammates are going to end up doing a good bit of damage before you can land that strike anyway, and I have found in most games that it will die in my one hit just because my other Helldivers have already peppered it up a bit. Now, when it comes to Hulks and Chargers, I honestly just recommend you run stun grenades over impact grenades. It makes this Orbital Precision Strike super easy to hit because it completely trivializes that call in time of 3 seconds since the stun time, I believe, is just about 5 or 6 seconds for most enemies. And on the defense or even the eradicate missions, most people do bring in EMS mortar sentries, which you can use to great effect to really nail down the timing and then making sure your Orbital Precision Strikes are accurate and hitting their mark, even with the increased call in time that you normally see on some of the higher level missions. And that's really it. I wanted to keep it some high level stuff. I didn't want to go super in depth and just bore everyone's fucking heads out, but I at least wanted to make a case for why the Ord Precision Strike is still going to bring in even on Helldive missions, and even if you've already gone well past the original level cap of level 50. But thank you for watching. Have a good day.